How's it going, Munchering people? Dr. Slack and Slacking Doctor back for week nine of COG, and this week your Cops or Williams Cops are going up against Addison and her Chicago Strength Sap. It's early, I can't get my words out. Uh, her link will be down in the description. If you guys don't know Addison, I mean, I'm sure you guys will do though, uh, is one of my best friends in this community, so it's pretty fun to go up against her. Um, a form, Well, I say a former front office member, a current front office member, but I don't really use my front office anymore, to be fair. Um, but... Yeah, this is uh this could potentially be my last ever draft league game, could be my last ever video on YouTube, I, I don't know. Um if we don't win this and we don't make playoffs, I don't know yet whether I'm gonna be able to play uh Wi Fi leagues in in Scarlet and Violet, um because obviously I've been having a lot of issues with my Switch um connecting and um it will all depend how the timer is structured in there and whether I can connect it. I'll buy the games to play them for myself. Um I don't know, would you guys be interested in seeing like a playthrough of them on the channel or something? I don't know um, if, I, if I can make content in a different way potentially. But yeah, as things stand, um, this could be it. Like if, if my Switch just won't connect on those new games and I decide not to, you know, I don't have time to do any kind of Let's Play stuff because let's be honest, I never really stick to it very well. Um, then yeah, this could be it. This could be it. So in a way... Um, Obviously, if we win today, we might make playoffs, and then it might not be it, but uh, assuming we lose, which we generally do when we play Addison, I don't mind if my last game is against her. It's kind of, it feels kind of fitting. Um, I don't know any of the music still in these games. I don't know. Anyway, uh, it feels kind of fitting, but we'll, we'll see. Hopefully, you know, hopefully we win and we make playoffs anyway, but it's, it's just a thought. Um, I'm a little bit all over the place this morning. It's pretty early. Um, thank you to Addison for battling me in the morning. It means I have natural light, so I don't have to... Well, I don't have to play in the dark like I've been doing a lot of this season. Um, but it means that my head's a little bit all scrambled. I'm a little bit all over the place. I tried something doing different with my hair. I don't know if I like it. What do you guys think? I, it's really distracting me because I tried doing something different with it. And I'm like, oh, I don't know if, that, if that's worked. But you can see the six that I think Addison might bring down on the bottom. This is worrying me that we've got no sort of connection showing. It's going to be another showdown job in it. Um, but... Honestly, with Addison's team, she could bring pretty much anything. I'm pretty sure the Age Slash and the Stunfisk are coming. Other than that, I think the Crowbat's coming. The other three are probably up for debate. I mean, it's all probably up for debate. Like, we could see a Trap Inch. It has some useful things here. She's saying hers is a... Hers is saying that she can't find me. I just don't get what's happened here. I the only thing I can think is like trying to restore it all to like factory defaults and going from there. It it just doesn't make a whole lot of sense to me because it's like it it works for for genning the team for trading. So there's clearly like internet signal getting to the switch and like I'm able to create the competitions and give people the code and they're able to find it. So clearly my switch is like connecting to the internet, setting up the battles, like putting them on the server for other people to search and find. I was able to search using the code to find this one that Addison had created. So like clearly, clearly my Switch has online functionality. Like it's not that I just can't connect the internet because it's working on for several things on the internet, but just not battling now. And I don't know what changed, like just randomly. And I think in the middle of all these showdown ones, I think we have had one on one on Switch, so I don't know. It's just baffling. Uh, anyway, you can see the six that we're bringing above my head. I think as the season's gone on, one, I've wished I've had Amanda Buzz the whole season. I think that thing's really helped um, since we've picked it up. Uh, but two, I think what I've kind of realized is that like Heatran, Beware, Starmie, like they're probably the three ones that I like the most on this team, like using the most. Um, Sylveon has been very useful. It, Sylveon's a weird one because people really rate it. If you were to ask me how I rate it after the season, I'm like, it's fine. Like, it's it's, very, it's definitely a useful two. Um, useful two, useful tool. But, like, I wouldn't go mad on it. I'm not, like, excited to pick it up again or anything like that. I'm just like, ah, it had its use. Maybe this draft didn't bring the best out of it, or maybe I'm just... 
not the best player of it, but yeah, really, I think the the three beware Heatran and Starmie have become pretty cool to this team, and now Mandibuzz too. I think they're all pretty central cogs, and I like them all. Th those are ones I would all pick draft again. Uh, I don't know what to say about this. Um, we're just going to switch over to Showdown. Alright, give me a sec to pull up Showdown. I could make a cut, but we're, we're going to be very fast, I'd say. Um, so give me a sec to just pull up my team. Oh, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Would you guys be interested in seeing like showdown content? Because obviously, I could still play in showdown leagues. The problem with showdown leagues is, as you've seen when I play on showdown on the channel, like I'm significantly worse on showdown because it's not as like immersive. Um, so for me, at least, so whether it's my ADHD or whatever, like I don't know, but I I find that I can't like I can't really get into the game in the same way. I can't focus in the same way because it's just yeah, it's a lot less immersive as as a kind of platform or whatever as a, as a simulator um, so I don't fucking know I do not fucking know let's change you over so you can see the game so yeah, much as I'd like to say, oh, I'll just do, don't worry, I'll just do some, uh... oh, you guys can see that the whole time anyway. <laughs> I didn't know that was open. Um, I don't think I need to cut anything out there. I don't think there was any, any whatever. Um... Apparently she's just setting up OBS, that's fine. Yeah. I don't know. I'm a bit at a loss. Sorry, I feel like the last few games have been, I've been very dejected in them in the videos just because of this whole show. I think it's just sad, man. Like, it's just sad to want to play a game. And A, like, obviously the Pokemon company kind of fucked it with their whole, like, not putting the time. I mean, the Pokemon company probably aren't always made a game, right? Is that Game Freak? I don't fucking know the, the ins and outs of this. But whoever made the game kind of fucked it by not putting the timer in an accessible place initially. Um, but then on top of that... Um, it's just been fucked by like my switch just deciding it didn't want to play ball. Wow, I got like none of the team right. Stunfish didn't come. Okay, I'm surprised by that. Um, so Finny and Yaligo are both problems. I'm gonna assume that the Mesprit is probably a rock set, so probably not a set upset, which is nice because I didn't bring a ton for it. Um, what hasn't come that I was expecting? Oh, I can close the lobby now, so I'm good. I hate that shit. Um, so, just to save confusion, I'll take the six off the layout for you guys. But there's no Mien Chao. That's pretty big, and those are rude. So, okay. I don't need Bulma as much. Um, so I can afford to use Bulma a little bit more aggressively, but... Admittedly, Bulma's set isn't that useful. It was really designed for Mian Xiao. Um, interesting. Faust obviously can be pretty dedicated to the Age of Slash. Both Water Fairies came. I think that's fine. Okay. I think I'm just going to lead off with Specs Tram. Yeah. Um, does this. I, I, I know that. Um, is this a Sash lead? So Overheat would have a chance to Oko if it was offensive, but if it was offensive, it'd probably be Sash. So I think I'm just going to Flash Cannon. I outspeed. 
A two shot, nice. Um, yeah, I'm okay with that exchange. I don't really care too much about rocks. Did I put the right ability on my Starmie? <laughs> oh, did not check that. <laughs> Let's hope that's the right ability. Okay, so doesn't have a switch into this now. Like the steel resist is um, obviously Aegis Slash, and Aegis Slash like does not want to take a, a Spex Flash Cannon particularly. Um, she's probably just calking to find out that that's Specs. But I still think this will chunk the Aegis Slash. I, I'm not going to double predicting the Aegis Slash or anything yet. Zumra is not going to like taking this. So that looks AV to me. To take that little from a neutral hit, I'm pretty sure that has to be AV. So, um, I am Fizz Death on this, right? So I could just go into Bulma. Now I'm gonna go Jupiter. Yeah, the knockoff comes out. We get the poison point, nice. I was kind of hoping for that, not gonna lie. Uh, oh, I took Synthesis off. That was an interesting play by me. Interesting. I'm just going to go for a spike. See what wants to come out. Mesper it. Ace was at 130 and I'm at 113. So I outspeed. So I'm just going to Sleep Powder. Um, I'm going to fire for Shadow Ball. That's fine. Crowback can come out. She would save the Mesprit as Sleep Fodder now, but I didn't think that Shadow Ball would kill, considering how little it took from Tran, and I didn't want to just lose Jupiter. I'd rather keep the sack, so I'm kind of okay with that. Um, we could just see a U-turn come out, um, predicting the Tran. Could just use Sylveon here. I'm just going to use Sylveon. I don't know if this thing's physical or special yet. Yes, yeah, so we do see the U-turn, so I was like tempted just to spike again, but I didn't think it was needed. Um... Jupiter can still be useful to revenge kill things like the Azumarill and the Finny. And potentially sleep something if needed, if the Mesprit ends up getting sacked. So She doesn't love switching in on Bulma either. Like, obviously the Aegislash can come out, but... I might just go straight for the Mystical Fire if the Aegislash comes out. Because, I, I, I like, the Aegislash needs to be some kind of, like... Swords Dance or Subtoxic or something to try and break through Mandibus, right? Uh, so it's Leftovers, so I wouldn't be surprised if this was Subtoxic with Special, so I'm just going to Mystical Fire. Could be Weakness Policy, I suppose. Um, if it's like... I don't think it Oko's Mandy. If it's Swords Dance. But yeah, if it's Weakness Policy, it uh, Totemize or anything like that. Well, it can't be Weakness Policy, it's Leftovers, so... Yeah, I'm just going to Mystical Fire because I... Um, I've got a feeling it might be like subtoxic or something like that. I don't think I'll outrun it, but I don't really need. Yeah, okay, fine. I don't. I just didn't feel like the Age Slash was going to get anything by just clicking like Flash Cannon into Mandibuzz. So I didn't think it was staying in. And I was right. Um. Gonna fire off a Wish here. She goes for another knockoff, gets rid of my leftovers. Kind of okay with that. I'm going to get Jupiter back in and back up to health. <sighs> I think I'll take any hit. Okay, Ice Beam, we eat. Fine. Spideff Razor Aid coming in clutch. Um, I'm just going to get another spike up. Yeah, Crowback comes out. That's fine. Um... I'm going to go back to Bulma because I think Bulma was causing us some trouble. I want to try and find out a little bit more about the Sage Slash. She might not U-turn here as well because I've been so aggressive over the last few turns. So I just want to cover that just in case. I think she will. But uh, Jupiter now has been wished back up a little bit. It's still pretty helpful. We've seen that we, that we can deal with the Finny pretty well. Okay, go to the Brave Bird. Just gonna wish here. So this thing is the main problem, I think. This thing is gonna be the thing that we might end up losing the game to because it outspeeds Starmie 
and it's really strong. So I have to be careful of that. <sighs> I'm gonna go Ace here. Yeah, understandably she flash cannon, so like Bulma is pretty weakened. It's not a good state, um, but I, I didn't want to like protect and see sub toxic age slash get a sub off, so um, I just didn't play that game. Uh, I could just overheat Magma Storm. This is going to have Protect on it, so she's going to want to scout what I go for. Um, I'm going to go for the Magma Storm. Like, I know this just burns PP, but... So we should see either Azumarill or Finny come out. Well, I'm okay with either. I just want to get off damage on both. Like, overheat would have had more chance of landing, I understand that, but... I think I think we just want to gamble on on magma storm here. They're going to take spike anyway, so try and try and keep the offensive pressure on, maximize damage. Yeah, as the Finny comes out, so hopefully we can connect this. Good, we do. It's a nice day. Two percent plus the trap damage will cancel the leftover. Is nice. Uh, gonna go right back to Jupiter. If she doubles Crowbat, good play. Which is madness. It's fine. I'm just going to sludge bomb here. Because I probably want some damage on the Crobat anyway. And if she stays in. Expecting another spike. I want to punish the Finny. Yeah. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. Okay. So Tran like just pretty much claims one all the time now. Uh, so I don't have a lot on this for this. Which is a problem. Because the sleep powder was kind of my answer here, but I obviously I've lost that. Relakuma can still take one, so um, I'm just gonna sack Bulma, I think. Yeah, sack Bulma. Now we see. I don't know if it's scarfed. I'm not gonna play around with this too much. I'm just gonna go to Relakuma, which can take a hit. Does Drain Punch kill? I should have calc this before. I don't think it does. I know nearly goes physical defense is bad, but it's HP isn't, so I don't think this will no nah, nowhere near. Alright, I'm gonna kick the Stantrum, Stomping Tantrum. Um obviously doesn't doesn't hit uh knuckles. Um do I wanna double edge or do I wanna save my HP? This thing's burnt one sleep turn. What did it go for? Like a psychic move? I can go back to Tran. I'm going to save my HP and go back to Tran. I don't want to take all that recoil. Future Sight comes out. I'm kind of okay with that. Um, so my play here is to Flash Cannon because then it brings in the Age of Slash, which means Mandibus can take the Future Sight rather than Overheat. I think we're playing this okay at the minute. Obviously losing Sylveon isn't our wish support's not good. We've got two spikes up. We're ahead in the sack race by one. And yeah, this is the only thing that can come out here. Which means we should be able to burn the future site. Yeah, toxic. I, I figured this thing would be toxic, but should see a King's Shield. So I'm just going to roost, like it's a complete burn of a roost, I get that, but I don't want to just throw away my um, Manda Buzz. I'm going to Bone Rush now, try to catch that near Ligo, we don't catch it, it's fine. Um, and now this Claim Swarm. Mm. Maybe a U-turn would have been better there, but I, I was worried about the Age Slash just staying in and attacking. Superfan comes out. Glad we didn't stay in and take that. Um, if by an off chance we live somehow here, or we outspeed. I mean, we don't outspeed this thing out. Yeah, there's just no reason for anything here. 
Yeah, Brave Bird's gonna come out, gonna take us down. Uh, out comes Tran. And uh, this time we just click the overheat. And I think we'll see the Azumarill sack. Tran's really important for this end game. Um, Tran's really important for this end game because of this Crobat hitting everything else so hard. Um, no flame body burn. Good, nice. We did get the poison point put poison earlier, so I'm not going to complain too much. Overheat. Yeah, plus poison does this. Neoligo can come out again. See, this is where it's getting difficult. Um, I think we go Harvey Ware because if it's Scarf, it doesn't two it KO. Yeah. Um, I'm going to Stomping Tantrum again. Actually. Do I take this from Crobat? Fifty from Crobat. Even if it's offensive Crobat. Yeah, I should always take this, so uh, my Thunder Punch should kill. I think I'd rather double edge so that I can stomping tantrum into the Aegis Slash if it's a U-turn. Yeah, and we cover that play. Uh, now the Brave Bird would kill me. But I don't think I particularly live in a hit from anything else. So, um, maybe I should have thought of that and tantrumed. Uh, I'm just going to double edge to 70. I'm just going to double edge again. Hopefully, record is a fat chunk to this. 13. I'd say that's a pretty fat chunk. Um, my rise become useless, man. It's very annoying. Trank comes out. I just overheat again. Um, yeah, I have to just let the power gem do that. Maybe I should have sacked something else. Hope this thing isn't Scarf, basically. Oh no, the speed. Oh, the speed. Speed boosting, I missed that. Oh, that's GG. I missed that it was speed boosting. Yeah, well played. Well played. I should have clocked that earlier. Um, I couldn't do much about it, but... Um... Couldn't do much about it. I was beware. Got, I made the wrong plays. Let him beware. Get whittled down. Uh, using the double edge into the crow bat. I should have just gone Tran. Yeah, I should have just gone Tran. That was where I fucked up. On that crow bat roost. Instead of double edge him. Because I threw in my, ch my check to this. Forgetting this was speed boosting. In my head I was just like. This thing's not scarf so it's fine. I was completely forgetting that it was speed boosting. Um... It's been a while since I got swept by a Neoligo, but it's not the first time. I forget that you can do that with this thing. Ah, it was close. It was close. It was close. Um, I could have played that endgame just a little bit better. I just didn't think through all of the options available to Addison. Like I just wasn't thinking about. Yeah, this doing that. 
So if this hadn't been speed boosting, I still would have been pretty in a pretty tough place. Well, I should have I shouldn't have psy shocked. I should have hydro pumped because then if she'd gone hard Aegis slash, I probably life orb hydro pump after two rounds of thing. I don't know if it would have killed because if it had shadow sneak, but it probably didn't have shadow sneak. So I maybe then could have just pumped twice for the KO. But I don't think I should have side shocked ever. I think I should have pumped. So I think I was tossing anyway, to some extent. Because I don't think I was going to pump there. So, oh well. That's our season over. Like I say, this may be the last video on this channel. It may not be. Like, I, you know, the Switch, my Switch might be fine. I might come up with an alternative solution for Scarlet and Violet. I might decide to let's play it. Yeah, I've, I've no idea. But who knows? This could be the last thing uh, on this channel. Uh, if it was... If it is, then it's been a pleasure, and I'm glad that we got to finish it off against a good friend. So anyway, thank you so much for playing around with me, and hopefully I'll catch you again next time.